so i hope you have understood let's move on to the next topic and that is cyber security for uh, smart grid now you can see here uh, this is a basic architecture or a model of a smart grid which it is prevalent right now so dashed line uh, represents the electric flow the electrical flow whereas the thick line or the dark line or the non dotted line will show the communication flow now through through this diagram you can easily understand the electricity flow is very minimal or it has a very minimal uh, range or coverage uh, the very minimal domain whereas the secure connection or the connection is uh, flowing through across the various domains to so the markets operational service providers customers distribution transmission bulk bulk generation etc so from this uh, particular depiction it is very clear that communication is very very large and since the communication is very large there will be a huge data transfer there will be a huge interconnections uh, of the uh, domains so from this particular picture it is very clear when we talk about uh, the transfer of the data of the communication system it is uh, very very cumbersome and we need to protect these uh, particular uh, communication so this need to be a secure one here the security comes into picture and the cyber security is uh, actually dealt uh, in here now what are the few examples let's see the few example examples of potential risk associated with the smart grid now as have, we have seen earlier there is a greater complexity uh, which uh, with the connectivity between the various domains so it will definitely increase the potential of the attacker and there might be some unintentional errors also because of the complex network secondly since uh, the network uh, will link uh, more frequently with the other networks uh, so it will make the system very vulnerable to small errors and the small uh, faults also so there can be span of uh, multiple smart grid domains and this will increase the potential for the cascading failures thirdly you will see uh, there are since there are more uh, number of interconnections so there might be more malicious codes or the attacks uh, which could uh, uh, lead to the compromised hardware or the related types of attacks and intrusions next example we will have the number of nodes in the network you can see the number of nodes will increase and node is an entry point is a place from where the attackers can enter the system so if there is no if the nodes number increases there is a possibility that the attackers can easily enter from n number of nodes to n number of paths and the last one is uh, the example since we are having a very extensive data gathering and we are having a two way communication that is a two way information flow so there is a possibility of uh, compromises of data com com con uh, confidentiality and the breach of the customer privacy there can be a possibility that customers data can be stolen or it can be mishandled so this is the biggest problem which is having right now in the smart grid so it's a just a summary of a few important points so that is the problems which associated with the smart grid the first one is it's complex the power system is very complex and it is reliant on information technology and communication infrastructure hence it is very vulnerable to the cyber security issues second this uh, resilience this uh, reliance has uh, also seen a corresponding increase in the power system vulnerability to cyber attack the third part is the management and protection of the infrastructure system which will definitely if it is not controlled it will lead to the power outages caused by the cyber attack now what could be done what could be done uh, in order to have uh, the smart grid uh, working in a healthy condition so providing a cyber security so what actually cyber security will provide so cyber security will first of all it will try to prevent the damage to the unauthorized use or the exploitation of electrical electronic information and the communication system it will ensure the confidentiality confidentiality integrity and the availability of the power secondly the cyber security will uh, try to restore the electronic information on the communication system if in the case of natural disaster or any unwanted attack or deliberate attack thirdly it will try to address if a deliberate attack let's say it is uh, has happened so it will try to restore 
through some uh, process uh, predefined process or some automated process uh, that deliberate attack could be anything it could be a terrorist attack it could be sovereign nation state it could be anything and then the next uh, the cyber security will needs to prevent in advertent compromises of the information infrastructure it is user uh, errors there might be cases where users uh, will do some errors and uh, the fault might be from the user side or from the customer side because of some equipment failure or could be natural disaster so cyber security will also take care of these issues as well so security will be best if it is applied in the layers now what does this mean it should be applied in the layers and different levels there are two things in layers and levels so first we will understand what is a layer layers implies a multiple security barriers which means suppose i am talking about my door let's say main door so if i have only one lock and that lock is broken anybody can uh, get inside the house now what i can do is i can have a layers of uh, protection on my door let's say i will have a iron door and then a wooden door so it is a two layer protection then let's say i will uh, put a lock which will have a security code and unless you enter the code it won't open so these are the three levels of uh, security which i have provided on my door let's say security system a wooden door and a iron door similarly in uh, smart grid also you can have protection into multiple layers so that if one layer breaks then the second layer comes into picture and it uh, uh, stops the attacker there itself now then next comes the levels what is the term levels means now different levels means uh, the communication infrastructure the different communication infrastructure those infrastructure have to be protected into different levels so this particular concept that is layers and different levels is known as a defense in depth so this concept is referred to as defense in depth now a system may attack uh, detect the attack the what does the cyber security will do in connection with the last slide uh, it will detect the attack and it will try to stop it which means it will try to lock down lock down all the access and thus it will try to restrict the attackers uh, from getting into the system secondly it can also mitigate the damage to the equipment that is it can try to stop the damage uh, for example it might automatic tripping of the breakers so this is how automated system can work and uh, the damage can be mitigated third part is uh, the security cyber security can uh, go to the restoring power through black start capability which means uh, there is some additional generators and small generators which are kept into the vicinity of the main uh, power system where it can uh, start the main generator now there are few key guidelines uh, which has been uh, given uh, which has been given to for the cyber security uh, we have outlined here first and the foremost thing before uh, uh, developing a system there should be development of the policy and regulatory framework uh, for cyber security second they should try to develop a risk assessment methodology that uh, how, what is the degree of threat what is the degree of vulnerability and what is the degree of impact this is how the risk assessment could be taken place third part is uh, privacy which is a very important part uh, of the cyber security that is the private privacy of the user that is personal privacy or the behavioral privacy or the personal communication privacy next uh, we need to develop a security architecture which could be referred to a conceptual reference of the smart grid model next there could be different uh, certification schemes for the devices which means we will be certifying the network and the systems or the process and the devices so that there will be a benchmark for the stakeholders uh, in the terms of infrastructure then we could also try to encourage research programs uh, in terms of the cyber security so that the research and development team could come up with the challenges uh, in the uh, security issues it could be device level security it could be key management or it could be network related issues or system related issues so these research programs the encouragement will uh, try to solve the problems in these domains next uh, design security awareness and training programs so these uh, various security awareness and training programs uh, uh, in the local or the state or the national level 
will uh, try to introduce in all overall the security uh, smart grid security so this is all about the uh, cloud computing and the uh, cyber security of the smart grid i hope you have understood this uh, presentation very well thank you very much